Hi you folks, how are you doing today? My name's Luke, I'm from Radford Creation, welcome back to my workshop. So today was supposed to be part two of the R2D2 sculpture, however, my, uh, my new TIG welder that I showed you in the last video uh, still isn't quite up and running yet, I still need a few more little bits for it and I didn't want to make a video when I wasn't going to be able to do much, but there is a, a process that we need to go through that's going to help us in uh, the R2D2 sculpture build. And uh, that is, we're going to be making um, R2 out of all of these small nuts, bolts, you know, all sorts of bits and bobs. But a lot of them, as you can see from this here, uh, are coated in galvanised, uh, have been galvanised. And we need to remove this before we do any work of it, because when we try and TIG weld this, it's not going to be, it's not going to weld very well. And if we try and put any of this in the forge, it's going to be very dangerous because uh, if you put this up in the forge and heat it up, it, uh, it lets off very, very dangerous fumes that you don't want to be breathing in. So if you if you are planning on doing blacksmithing, do not put galvanised items into your forge. You'll know because it will um, you'll see a green flame burning from it. If it's burning great, you need to turn your forge off and take it out, and you need to remove the galvanising. It lets off very, very, very. Uh, nasty chemicals and stuff like that, that you do not want to be breathing in so we need to go through this process and i just thought it would be interesting to some of you to uh, to see how we do this and uh so yeah so what we do is we'll bring the camera in get you a closer look and we'll go through it okay then folks so what is galvanization so without going too much into the sort of chemical processes of galvanization galvanization is where you take steel items which are prone to rust and corrosion and you cover it with a zinc coating a molten zinc coating so what they do is they melt the zinc down so it is literally molten and they'll dip the steel items in bring it out and then as it cools it comes out with this coating it's done it does this simply to stop it from corroding so i'll dip, show you two items so this is uh, just a, a normal little spanner that's a uh, I took out of a box, people give me old tools and stuff because I make stuff out of them. So yeah, this come out of an old box and this next item come out of the, exactly the same box. So you can see very, very different here. So obviously the zinc coating, it still looks perfect, it still looks new, you can put that straight in a box and everyone would think that's fine. This, on the other hand, you can see it's all tarnished, it's all going rusty, it all needs cleaning up. It's gonna start corroding, or it has started corroding. So yeah, so that's why they galvanise this stuff. So what we need to do is remove this galvanisation. Like I've already said, you don't want to be putting this straight into your forge to remove it. It will remove it. However, it's not very good for you in the long run. So what we normally do is uh, we use vinegar, white vinegar. Um, and what it, vinegar is a very uh, obviously a very um, light acid, and that will uh, take the the galvanisation off the off the item itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you uh how we do this uh in, in a very small batch i've obviously got a lot to do but i'm not going to go through all of it because you're not going to see how it all works so i'm going to, i've taken a few items here which have all been galvanized which we need to remove and i'm going to show you step by step how we do this safely uh and in a way that's not a uh, bad for the environment or anything like that Okay then. Right then folks, so we need a couple of things for this. Um, first of all is obviously the items you want to re be removing the galvanisation from. Second all is some vinegar. This is just white vinegar, this is cleaning vinegar. I brought it off Amazon, probably about six or seven pounds for five litres. You obviously don't need that much if you're only doing small amounts. Uh, normal, as long as it's white vinegar, normal white vinegar will work just as well. Uh, and obviously we just need a container to put it all in. So I've just got a little, whatever you, your Chinese takeaway stuff. So you just put your stuff in the container. You can do this in a larger bulk. Obviously like, I'm gonna be doing it with a lot of stuff later, but this is just to show you um, exactly what happens. So all we need to do is pour Vinegar in until it's covering. There you go. Yep, 
Yeah, so all you want is you just want it covering all of the uh, all of the items I think. So obviously try and use a container that's uh, just big enough to fit your items in because you don't want to be wasting too much vinegar. You don't want to put it in a massive bucket when you're doing one spanner. So uh, yeah, the, what will happen is that now the vinegar is going to start, because it's an acid, it's going to start eating away at uh, the, the zinc on the outside of that, but it will leave the steel untouched. This is going to take roughly about a day to uh, to go through. So you obviously want to plan this ahead. You want to do this in advance of you actually having to do something. This doesn't this doesn't happen in an hour or something like that. There are chemicals that you can get um, which will remove it in a lot quicker time. However, um, you know, they're not as kind to the environment and stuff like that. You have to be a lot more careful with them. This is just vinegar. I mean. It, it's, it's nearly the same as what you put on your on your food and stuff like that. So yeah, so all we're going to do then is, you can already see, I'll see if I can get a, a close up in a second, but you can already see it's starting to bubble and uh, the coating's so, slowly starting to, uh, to come away from that. So I'm going to leave it all here overnight and then tomorrow I'll, we'll come back and we'll have a look how it's done. Okay guys. Right folks, I don't know if this is going to be very clear, but uh, as you can see, there's like bubbles starting to form on the items. You can see there on the nut. There, you see the bubbles starting to come up. So this is the acid eating away at the items themselves and taking that zinc coating off. So uh, what is actually being produced here is hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen is highly, highly flammable. However, it's being produced in such small quantities here that uh, it's not really dangerous. However, you do want to be making sure you're doing this in a, in a well-ventilated area and don't stand over it, like, you know, huffing the fumes as they come up type thing. Um, so, yeah, it is very safe to be doing, um, but uh, you just want to be a bit careful. Just make sure you're doing it outside. My workshop's very ventilated anyway, so... It should be fine. So like I said, we're going to leave this overnight now and we'll see how it, how it is in the morning. Hi folks, so it's the next day. And uh, last night, um, before I packed everything away, I noticed that on the side of this this spanner, it actually says that it's uh, it's made from a chrome alloy, so it's not galvanized. But I decided to, to leave it in. And uh, just to prove the point of, of the difference between the things, because it does look like it could have been galvanized. So, I've just left it in. So this is the next day. So if we take all this stuff out, you can see that this stuff, which was shiny, which was uh, all galvanized and everything, you can see that the whole galvanization has been removed now. And these things are ready to be put in the forge or, uh, or be welded so without uh, any worries of the, the galvanization causing any harm to it, us or uh, or to the weld or anything. This uh, this spanner, like I said, is made from a, a chrome alloy that we noticed. And uh, but yeah, you can see the difference. That you know, they've been sat in the same solution all night. You can see the uh, the difference in what's galvanised and what isn't now. So yeah, guys, what you want to do with these things? You just want to give them a a swirl round in some water. Just neutralise all the acid and stuff. And then, um, yeah, and then you're done, you're ready to go. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you remove galvanization from steel. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.